John Nuller Jack Lemon III was an American actor and musician. He starred in more than 60 films, including Some Like It Hot, The Apartment, Mr. Roberts, Days of Wine and Roses, The Great Race, Irma La Douce, The Odd Couple, Save the Tiger, The Out of Towners, The China Syndrome, Missing, Glen Gary Glen Ross, Grumpy Old Men, and Grumpier Old Men. Early Life Lemon was born in an elevator at Newton Wellesley Hospital in Newton, Massachusetts, a suburb of Boston. He was the only child of Mildred Burgess LaRue and John Ulla Lemon, Jr., the president of a donut company. His paternal grandmother was from an Irish immigrant family. Lemon attended John Ward Elementary School in Newton and the Rivers School in Western, Massachusetts. He stated that he knew he wanted to be an actor from the age of eight. Lemon attended Phillips Academy and Harvard University, where he lived in Elliott House and was an active member of several drama clubs a Euro, and president of the Hasty Pudding Club a Euro as well as a member of the Delphic Club for Gentlemen, a final club at Harvard. After Harvard, Lemon joined the Navy, receiving V-12 training and serving as an ensign. On being discharged, he took up acting professionally, working on radio, television and Broadway. He studied acting under coach Uta Hagen. He was enamored of the piano and learned to play it on his own. He could also play the harmonica, guitar, organ, and the double bass. Career Lemon's film debut was a bit part as a plasterer painter in the 1949 film The Lady Takes a Sailor, but he went unnoticed until his debut, opposite Judy Holliday, in the 1954 comedy It Should Happen to You. Lemon worked with legendary leading ladies, among them Marilyn Monroe, Natalie Wood, Betty Grable, Janet Leigh, Shirley MacLaine, Lee Remick, Romy Schneider, Doris Day, Kim Novak, Judy Holliday, Rita Hayworth, June Allison, Nalissi, Anne Margaret, Sophia Loren, and many more. He was close friends with actors Tony Curtis, Ernie Kovacs, Walter Mitchell, and Kevin Spacey. He made two films with Curtis, three films with Kovacs, and eleven with Mitchell. Early in Lemon's career he met comedian Ernie Kovacs while co-starring with him in Operation Mad Ball. Lemon and Kovacs became close friends and appeared together in two subsequent films, Bell, Book and Candle and It Happened to Jane in 1977 PBS broadcast a compilation series of Kovacs's television work, and Lemon served as the narrator of the series. Lemon discussed his friendship with Kovacs in the documentary, Ernie Kovacs, Television's Original Genius. He was a favorite of director Billy Wilder, starring in the film Some Like It Hot, The Apartment, Irma La Douce, The Fortune Cookie, Avanti, The Front Page, and Buddy Buddy. Wilder felt Lemon had a natural tendency toward overacting that had to be tempered. The Wilder biography Nobody's Perfect quotes the director as saying, Lemon, I would describe him as a ham, a fine ham, and with ham you have to trim a little fat. The biography quotes Lemon as saying, I am particularly susceptible to the parts I play. If my character was having a nervous breakdown, I started to have one. He enjoyed a long-time working relationship with director Blake Edwards, starring in My Sister Eileen, Days of Wine and Roses, The Great Race and That's Life. Lemon recorded an album in 1958 while filming Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe. Twelve jazz tracks were created for Lemon and another twelve were added. Lemon played the piano and recorded his own renditions of Monroe's trademark songs, I Wanna Be Loved By You and I'm Through With Love, for the album which was released in 1959 as a twist of Lemon's Some Like It Hot. Lemon was awarded the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 1956 for Mr. Roberts and the Best Actor Oscar for Save the Tiger, becoming the first actor to achieve this rare double. He was also nominated for a Best Actor Oscar for his role in the controversial film Missing in 1982, and for his roles in Some Like It Hot, The Apartment, Days of Wine and Roses, The China Syndrome, and Tribute. He won another Cannes Award for his performance in Missing. In 1988, the American Film Institute gave him its Lifetime Achievement Award. Days of Wine and Roses was a favorite role. He portrayed Joe Clay, a young, fun-loving alcoholic businessman. In that film, Lemon delivered the line, My name is Joe Clay. I'm an alcoholic. 
Three and a half decades later, he stated on the television program Inside the Actors Studio that he was a recovering alcoholic. Lemon's production company JML produced Cool Hand Luke in 1967. Paul Newman was grateful to Lemon for his support and offered him the role of the Sundance Kid, later played by Robert Redford and Butch Cassidy in The Sundance Kid, but Lemon turned it down. He did not like riding horses and he felt he'd already played too many aspects of the Sundance Kid's character before. Lemon appeared in many films partnered with actor Walter Mitchtown. Among their pairings was 1968's The Odd Couple, as Felix Ungar and Oscar Madison. The first film they starred in together was The Fortune Cookie, The Front Page and Buddy Buddy. In 1971, Lemon directed Mitchtown in the comedy Koch. It was the only movie that Lemon directed and Mitchtown was nominated for the Best Actor Oscar for his performance. Additionally, Lemon and Mitchtown had small parts in Oliver Stone's 1991 film, JFK. In 1993, the duo teamed again to star in Grumpy Old Men. The film was a surprise hit, earning the two actors a new generation of young fans. During the rest of the decade, they would star together in Out to Sea, Grumpier Old Men and the widely panned The Odd Couple too. In 1996, Lemon was awarded the Honorary Golden Bear Award at the 46th Berlin International Film Festival. In 1997, Lemon was a guest voice on The Simpsons episode The Twisted World of Marge Simpson, playing the character Frank Ormond, owner of the pretzel business that Marge Simpson franchised. The recurring character Old Gil Gunderson, voiced by Dan Castellaneta, is an ongoing parody of Lemon's character in Glen Gary Glen Ross. At the 1998 Golden Globe Awards, he was nominated for Best Actor in a made-for-TV movie for his role in Twelve Angry Men Losing to Ving Rams. After accepting the award, Rams asked Lemon to come on stage and, in a move that stunned the audience, gave his award to him he received the AFI Life Achievement Award in 1988. Personal Life Actor Kevin Spacey recalled that Lemon is remembered for always making time for other people. Already regarded as a legend, he met teenage Spacey backstage after a theater performance and spoke to him about pursuing an acting career. Spacey would later work with Lemon in The Murder of Mary Fagan, Dad, the critically acclaimed film Glen Gary Glen Ross and on stage in a revival of Long Day's Journey Into Night. Lemon was Spacey's mentor, and taught Spacey that people who do well in a business have an obligation to send the elevator back down to help lift people starting out on the ground floor. This metaphor is fitting given that Lemon was born in an elevator. In his autobiography, My Life, Burt Reynolds recalls Lemon as the quintessential gentleman who never spoke ill of anyone, even if they deserved it. This kindness backfired for Reynolds, prior to accepting the lead in W.W. and the Dixie Dance Kings, directed by John G. Avildsen, Reynolds asked Lemon, whom Avildsen had directed in Save the Tiger for an opinion of Avildsen as a director. Lemon told Reynolds that Avildsen was okay, and Reynolds accepted the role. After the film was released and his experiences in production proved unhappy, Reynolds complained to Lemon and described Avildsen as an asshole, whereupon Lemon replied, I guess you could say that. Lemon was married twice. His son Chris Lemon, was his first child by his first wife, actress Cynthia Stone. His second wife was actress Felicia Fuhr with whom he had a daughter, Courtney. Fah had a daughter from a previous relationship named Denise. Lemon was a Catholic. He publicly announced his alcoholism during a 1998 interview on Inside the Actors Studio. Death Lemon died of colon cancer and metastatic cancer of the bladder on June 27, 2001. He had been fighting the disease, privately, for two years before his death. He was interred at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Westwood, California, buried near his friend and co-star, Walter Mitchell, who died almost exactly one year before Lemon. His gravestone simply reads Jack Lemon in, a reference to how he was billed on film credits. After Mitchell's death in 2000, Lemon appeared with friends and relatives of the actor on a Larry King live show in tribute. A year later, Many of the same people appeared again on the show to pay tribute to Lemon. Filmography, film, television, discography, 
a twist of lemon some like it hot, piano selections from Irma Ladus, piano and vocals, Peter and the Wolf, songs and music from some like it hot, references. Sources, Lemon, Chris. A twist of lemon, a tribute to my father. Chapel Hill, North Carolina Algonquin Books of Chapel Hill. ISBN A 978-1-56512-480-6A, Baltac, Joe. The Films of Jack Lemon. Citadel Press. ISBN A 0-8065-0560-5A, Friedland, Michael. Some Like It Cool, The Charmed Life of Jack Lemon. Robson Books. ISBN A 978-1-86105-510-1A, Widener, Don. Lemon. Macmillan Books A, Wise, James. Stars in Blue, Movie Actors in America's Sea Services. Annapolis, Maryland, Naval Institute Press, 1997. ISBN 1557509379 OCLCA 36824724, External links, Jack Lemon at the Internet Broadway Database. Jack Lemon at the Internet Movie Database, Jack Lemon at the TCM Movie Database, The Films of Jack Lemon on YouTube, Compilation of Movie Clips, 4 Minutes, Actor Jack Lemon Dead at 76, Jack Lemon at the Archive of American Television, Obituary in the Los Angeles Times.